Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 interesting facts you did not know about Eritrea. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Eritrea is a sovereign nation located in the Horn of Africa and has its own government. With the Red Sea on its eastern and northeastern borders, Djibouti on its southeastern border, Ethiopia on its southern border, Sudan on its western border. It has a total land area of around 45,406 square miles. It is a multicultural and multi-ethnic country with a population of approximately 3.6 million people. Eritrea is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, and the Arab League, where it serves as an observer with countries such as India, Venezuela, and Brazil. Here are some of the most intriguing facts about Eritrea. Number 10. Eritrea has never held a presidential election since independence. Eritrea is a one-party state that achieved independence from Ethiopia in 1993. Because of this, Eritrea has not hosted regional or local elections since 2004, and neither has it held national or presidential elections since 1993. Since 1993, the country of Eritrea has only had one president. President Afwerki Isaias has previously expressed his disdain for democratic institutions modeled on those found in the West. The first 75 members of the National Assembly were elected in 1993, with the remaining members chosen by the president. Number 9. Asmara, the capital city of Eritrea, is also referred to as New Rome or Italy's African city. Asmara is sometimes referred to as New Rome since a significant proportion of the city's older structures are designed in the style of Italian architecture. After Benito Mussolini seized control of Eritrea, he attempted to transform Asmara into a miniature version of Rome. Consequently, he constructed numerous massive monuments that feature excellent Italian architecture. The presence of a unique Italian flavor in the city is the result of Eritrea having been colonized by the Italians for a very long period. There are almost 400 structures in the country that have an Italian architectural style, like the cinema capital, Caron Casa del Fascio, Orthodox Cathedral, and the mansion in Decemhe, to name just a few. Some businesses, such as Ferramenta, Pasticeria Moderma, and Bar Vittoria, among others, continue to utilize Italian names. Number 8. Eritrea is home to one of the oldest port cities in Africa. The port city of Adulis in Eritrea is one of the ancient African cities that was founded during the reign of the Aksumite Kingdom 100 AD to 940 AD. It is one of the oldest cities in the world. Adulis was a port city on the Zula Gulf, on the Red Sea, about 25 miles from Marsawa. It was the largest city in the Zula Gulf. In the Aksumite monarchy, the city of Adulis was one of the major metropolitan areas. The dominance of this port enabled the Aksumite kingdom to rise to the position of a dominant force in the Red Sea. The ruins of Adulis can be located in the modern city of Zula, which was founded by the Greeks. During the 2nd and 3rd century AD, the port was heavily used by Roman merchants. Number 7. Eritrea does not have an official language. Eritrea is a multilingual state. The country's constitution affirms that all languages are treated equally across the nation. Tigrinya is the de facto national language of Eritrea, with about 2.5 million native speakers. Tigrinya is a Turkic language that is extensively spoken in the country's center and southern regions. Other national languages spoken in Eritrea include Tig, Noro, Saho, Kunama, Bailan, Beja, Afar, and Arabic, among others. English, combined with Tigrinya, is the de facto working language, although the Italian language is not recognized by the government, their previous colonial language. Number 6. Eritrea was a part of the ancient kingdom of Aksum, which is now in Ethiopia. Kingdom of Aksum was an ancient kingdom based in the present-day Tigray region, Ethiopia, and Eritrea, with its capital in the modern-day capital of Addis Ababa. The kingdom flourished between 100 AD and 940 AD, and its governance was based at the city of Aksum at the time of its founding. Aksum played a major role in the commercial route that connected ancient India with the Roman Empire, and it still is today. Aksum is considered to have been the residence of the Queen of Sheba as well as the last resting place of the Ark of the Covenant, according to legend. Number 5. The name of the Eritrean capital city Asmara means, they made them unite. 
Asmara, the name of Eritrea's capital city, is derived from the Arabic phrase meaning, they made them unite. The Geza Serensa, Geza Shalele, Geza Gerton, and the Geza Azmi were the four clans that existed in the territory that is now known as Asmara at the time of its founding. These clans were always under attack by the communities from the lowlands, as well as by the head of the Sega Mereb Melash or segment of the Mereb. As a result, the ladies of these clans decided to form a pact to battle their common enemy and keep the peace. They were awarded the name Arbeit Asmara as a result of their agreement. The Tigrinia given name Arbeit Asmara means the four who brought them together. Number 4. The name Eritrea is derived from the Red Sea's ancient name. The name of the country is derived from the Greek term for the Red Sea, and it was first used in 1890, when the Italian colony of Eritrea was created. A connection exists between the country's name and the region's former name, Erythrae, which is related to the Red Sea's old Greek name, Erythrean Sea. During the Ethiopian and British occupations that followed, the name remained unaltered. The country's independence referendum in 1993 reaffirmed the use of the term Eritrea as its official name. Number 3. The highest point in Eritrea is Emba Soira. Emba Soira is the highest mountain in Eritrea, rising to a height of approximately 9,902 feet. In the Eritrean highlands, Emba Soira is located on the southeastern side of Debub, in the region known as the Emba Soira region. The peak may be reached through a paved route that begins in Senate City, which is located 83.9 miles south of Asmara. In Eritrea, the Ethiopian highlands are home to several of the country's tallest mountains and volcanoes. Although a piece of the highlands crosses the border into Eritrea, most of them are in Ethiopia. This region has a semi-arid environment with a tropical monsoon season. Grassy and shrubby plants, such as grasses and shrubs, are abundant in this area. The Ethiopian highlands are home to a variety of animals, including the endangered mantled gareza, olive baboon, African leopard, Egyptian wolf, and spotted hyena, to mention a few. Number 2. One of the world's oldest hominids was discovered in Eritrea. In the Afar region of Eritrea, a million-year-old cranium with characteristics linked with both the Homo sapien and the Homo erectus species was discovered. The skull serves as a link between the first anatomically modern human humans and the hominids, allowing us to understand their evolution. A 600,000-year-old fossil with modern human characteristics had previously been discovered in Bodo, Ethiopia and was the oldest fossil with modern human characteristics until this finding. Ernesto Abote and a team of paleoanthropologists from around the world made the discovery of the skull in 2004. The practically complete skull, as well as two incisors and two pelvic bones, were discovered in ancient river and lake sediments deposited in the volcanic northern Danakil formation, which was formed by volcanic activity. Number 1. Over 30% of the Eritrean freedom fighters were women. Women played an important role in the country's war for independence, with women accounting for more than 30% of the country's freedom fighters throughout the country's struggle for independence. Since 1810 AD, women in the country have fought alongside their male counterparts on the battlefields. They fought alongside their male counterparts in the Italian Wars and the Ethiopian Civil War, respectively. In comparison to previous liberation movements, the Eritrean independence movement had the highest proportion of female members. This group had the biggest proportion of women of any other liberation movement on the earth, including the American Civil Rights Movement. The Ethiopian forces were the adversaries in the independence war. Eritrea was annexed by Ethiopia, which led to its native language, Amharic, being adopted as the official language of the new country. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.